Hey guys, what's up? Peace and blessings. I'm on this walk and like this really showed me a lot right now. Like I was like, nah, I'm making the video. I have to show my show my people, man. So remember, Christ says there's a broad way that many enter in and there's a uh, narrow gate that only few enter in. Okay, so these are the two ways. Okay, this is the broad path that many people take. Many people on the path to hell, the path to destruction. And only few on all the narrow path. Let me let me let me teach you guys something really quick. So this is two paths, right? Okay. So as you enter that narrow gate, that only few find. Remember, there was a, a person who went to Christ and said, you know, are there few that be saved? He said, seek to enter in the straight gate, for I tell you, many will seek to enter it, but not will be able to. Luke chapter 13, verse 23 to 24. I'll make sure I leave a scripture right here so you guys. Okay. So as you can see, there's two paths in life. Okay. Not three, not four. You only can serve one master. So you, on the way to heaven, you could only pick Christ. But you chose a narrow gate, huh? And you think that everything is going to go all good? You think that your life is going to be perfectly fine? No. Once you enter into that path, once you see those, those two gates right there, once you take your first steps, spiritual warfare turns up. And this is how the devil works. Ooh, I'm preaching today, man. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. This is how the devil works, okay? When you least expect it, when you're comfortable, that's when you come to steal, kill, and destroy. When you're vulnerable, when you're distracted, when everything is going good and you, and you least expect it. When, when you forget to put the armor on. When you forget about spiritual warfare, when you're not sober minded, okay? So now you're walking past those, past those uh, gates, right? And you're like right here, right? And then level up, okay? Remember, every new level in life is a new devil. So you're right here, okay? You made it over there. You started over there, those gates where y'all can see that, right over there, okay? And now you're walking straight over here, okay? And now, now same place a roadblock on you. Now pla same place a stumbling block on you, whether it's through a family member, whether it's through a friend. Uh, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whoever it may be, because the devil is a spirit. He jumps in and out of people. He uses people who he, uh, you love the most. Okay, that's how he deceives you. The people you would least expect it, those are the ones. Remember, uh, Judas was uh, the, the, the devil. Okay, the people you least expect the most, the people that your disciples. Okay, the people who are saying, "I'm saved, I'm saved," but they happen to be a devil. They happen to be a, a tear, a child of the wicked one, a child of Satan. Okay, so as we clearly see, Satan puts a stumbling block. So now you're walking straight, right? Everything is going good. I gave my life to Jesus. Woo! Woo! I'm saved. I'm saved. Woo! Everything's going good. We lit. Every day we lit. Hey, we lit, right? All is going good. All is well. You living your best life. You gave your life. And you should. You gave your life to Jesus. That's your best life. Woo! I'm on the way to eternal life. Woo! That's your best life. That is your best life. Going to the club, fornicating, uh, being drunk, getting high. That's your worst life. That's the path to damnation. That's, that's that path right there. I was telling you guys about that's that path. It's raining. I'm still preaching, bro. So anyways, okay? So you walking straight. Now Satan says, wait, hold up, hold up. You're on the path to heaven? You gave your life to Jesus? Oh, no, no, no. Now let, let's put a stumbling block upon him. Let's try to stop him to lead the path of righteousness. Let's try to get him go backwards in life. Let's try to get him to backslide. So remember, you're walking straight, the straight path to heaven. I'm, I'm a, I'm a, man, we preaching today, like I said, the straight path to heaven, right? Now you see this. Now you get discouraged, okay? Now you feel weak. Now you're led to confusion. And we all know confusion is of the enemies, of the devil, okay? So now you start to see this. Even though God did not place this one, God wants you to keep on walking straight and narrow. God tells you to put the armor on. He tells you to fight against uh, that. We don't battle against flesh and blood, okay? Remember, like I said, it could be a family member. Yeah, the people you love the most, your friend, uh, you know, your brother, your sister, your girlfriend. It could be anybody that, uh, that anybody who's walking in darkness. Satan uses those people who are, who belong to the kingdom of darkness, who are walking in darkness, who are not walking with, with love, with Christ, okay? The spirit of Christ. So now you see this. Now you feel discouraged. Now you feel weak. Now it's like, all right, let me just go back. Now let me start backsliding. But it doesn't matter because I'm saved. Let me start backsliding, okay? Let me start backsliding. And now let me enter into that path, okay? The path of damnation, the broad wide gate. Because... I believe that I was already saved. I didn't have to endure to the end. I, I could just, you know, it doesn't matter. Don't be deceived, my friend. Now, let me explain this, okay? So like I said, you're going straight, okay? The people who don't let the devil get the best of them, the people who the devil, the people who don't give up fighting the devil because every single day is a war, man. Every single day, the devil, he's trying to kill and still and destroy you, whether it's through your friends or whether it's through the internet, okay? Maybe you have a ministry and saying trying to, the, the kingdom of darkness is trying to rain fire upon your ministry because God sees that you're saving souls through his word. God sees that you're winning people over for the kingdom of Christ, not for yourself, not for vain glory, but for Christ. Because if we don't boast nothing but the Lord, okay? So we're walking straight, right? And the, and the stumbling block saying passes upon you, you don't let it get the best of you. Those who, those who, wait, hold on, let's give a shout out to wisdom. Those who have wisdom, right? Woo, we jump over. Okay, it's not over yet, okay? Those who have wisdom, those who don't give up, those who fight, 
Those who don't make excuses, those who fight the devil with the word of God, because Christ, when he defeated the Satan, he defeated him with the, with the word of God. And see, this is how it is, right? Now you're on the straight and narrow. And now you see all this. You have you have alligators over here. You have sharks. Okay. You have the tears, the snakes. Okay. Try to jump in and attack you. Even though you're walking straight, you try to jump in and attack you. Okay. And you got this side. Same thing over here. You got you know. Remember the Bible says saying um. It's like a warring lion seeking someone to devour. So now you got them on this side and they're trying to take you out, okay? And now, okay, now when you see your big blessing, because before God gives you a blessing, he allows you to see it ahead of time. So before God gives you a blessing, right? It's all the way over there, Wait, over there, right? Right there. And you have this huge roadblock. You have the, and you're like, wait, you're like, wait, hold up. You're like, wait, hold up, wait a minute. Okay, you see all this, now you feel discouraged. You see all this, you're like, wait, hold up. How am I gonna cross this, right? Look at this, man, this is, look at this, okay? And you're like, wait, wait, hold up. How am I gonna cross this, all this? But remember, God paid the way for Moses. I'm pretty sure they all had doubt too. I'm pretty sure they're like, wait, God, like the Egyptians are over there, what's gonna happen? Okay, they started, to, some of them had doubt, but you gotta have faith, faith. That, and, and your faith in Christ, that produces works, as faith of that works is dead, and you're striving to straight and narrow, okay, you're striving, that is a work, okay? That's through your faith. And you see this, so guess what? God provides a way out. The Bible says in a way of temptation, God will provide a way out. So now you can just go through here, okay? So we couldn't pass through there, no problem. No problem at all. Now we can just go through here. And we see there's no water in there. There's, there's no water in there, okay? So that's how God works, guys. When, when Satan's putting stumbling blocks upon your life, when he's putting roadblocks, when he's trying to discourage you, when he's trying to attack your faith, because that's really what it stems down to, attacking your faith, because we're saved by our faith, right? So he tries to attack your faith. He tries to confuse you, okay? He tries to confuse you. He tries to make you, uh, you know, be double-minded because a double-minded person is unstable in all their ways. So when you try to twist the scripture to justify your sinful behavior, Satan laughs. He's like, ha ha, this idiot, this fool, Okay, he's falling for my schemes, okay? Don't be ignorant of Satan's devices, Satan's schemes, and don't be ignorant of these tares, okay? Remember, the wheat and tares, they both look the same. They're both identical. But the Bible makes it clear that in the end, Satan will come and he will gather his, uh, Satan, uh, uh, sorry, the angels will gather the tares and burn them with the fire, the lake of fire, because that's where they're going. Anyone else, uh, you know, I had someone tell me that, oh, Mark, we're all children of God, right? Which is not true. The Bible makes it clear in 1 John chapter 3, verse 10, in this, the children of God are manifested and the children of the devil. Whoever does not do righteousness is not of God, neither him that love not his brother, okay? So always remember, walk in wisdom, discerning the times because the days are evil, okay? Just because someone's coming, coming into your life, you know, complimenting you, showing you love, that's cool and all, but you don't want to get egotistical and, you know, be vulnerable because how the devil works is, like I said, he uses people who you least expect the most. And like I was showing you guys, <laughs> this is this is the, the narrow path, right? This is the entrance gate. There was a police coming, so I had to back up. I don't know if you guys saw him, but this is the, once you once you once you give your life to Christ, once you like, you know, Lord, I surrender. Okay, I surrender. Let's go. I I I, I have to give up everything. I gave up the sinful lifestyle. I gave up the uh, I gave up the world because a friend of the, of the world is the enemy against God. And so I gave that up. God, I surrender. Now you walk the narrow path and see, and see, as you start to walk the narrow path and, you, and everything goes good. Okay. Everything, everything is going good for the most part, right? Everything is going good for the most part. And then that roadblock right there, that roadblock right there. And a lot of people, that first roadblock, that first stumbling block that Satan places upon you. Okay. A lot of people get discouraged. A lot of people want to give up. They want to give up from the faith. They want to depart from the faith. Remember, the Bible says that there will be those who depart from the faith and get heed, get heed to seducing spirits, doctrines of devils. So like I said, be wise, discerning the times. Be a child of wisdom. Be led by the Holy Spirit. Ask God for discernment. How can God bless you with spiritual gifts when you're still in love with this world, when you're still conveying after material possessions, when you're still conveying after you know worldly things? So in order for you to gain spiritual gifts, the, the gifts of the Holy Spirit, we must leave this world. And when God gives us those gifts, we must actually take action through our works, that our faith. And we use those gifts that God blesses us with to save souls, to win people over for Christ. That's what it's all about, man. So I hope you guys got edified from this video. 
Just because there's a roadblock right there, God will always provide a way out, guys. If you guys made it this far, show some support. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share this video too. I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.